From calorie count to portion size, we want to find out all the differences between Taco Bell in India and the US. This is Food Wars. Here in India, our typical tacos come in orders of one, two in a two taco meal with fries and a drink, three taco trio combo which comes with nachos and a drink, or on weekends, they have a special offer where you can get eight tacos in their weekend taco party extravaganza. What's it called? What's it called? Taco taco eight weekend party pack taco. <laughs> Eight taco weekend party pack. Have a party with your friends. Only if there are eight of them, and they all are okay with having this one taco. In the U.S., our standard Taco Bell tacos come in orders of one, three with a drink, and the twelve taco box. Twelve tacos, one box. How you doing? Here in India, our classic burrito is six and a half centimeters or six and a half inches. Our U.S. burrito is five inches across. In terms of girth, this is the first time I've measured the girth of anything. Promise. Seven inches. Also about five inches. And that's what matters most. Okay, now to measure the weight of our classic burrito. Damn! This is a big boy. 291 grams. 185 grams. Our classic quesadilla is just shy of 11 inches. 10 inches. And as for weight, boop, 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 boop. And it weighs 174 grams. 202 grams. At an Indian Taco Bell, the largest item we have on our menu is the aforementioned weekend eight taco party picnic popping. What the f is this thing? Eight taco weekend party pack, and it's always a party. So the vegetarian version is 499 rupees and the non-vegetarian version is 599 rupees. In the US, our biggest menu item is a Supreme Variety Taco Party Pack. It is 12 Supreme Tacos and it runs $21.99 or 1,751.65 Indian rupee. Here's everything you'll find at a Taco Bell in India that you will not find in the US. And here is everything at a US Taco Bell you can't find in India. Let's taco about it. Here in India, all of the tacos have a vegetarian option. This is because even though India is a primarily non-vegetarian country, we have a huge population of vegetarians or people who have different preferences of what kind of meat they like to eat. And so it's great for most of these fast food chains to have a lot of veg options. All of them have the option of either pinto beans, fajita veggies, or Mexican paneer. And they're also in increasing order of spice. The cheesy double-decker taco. Honestly, I actually really like this taco. I know it's sacrilege for some people to eat a soft shell and a hard shell taco together. But when you parcel this stuff and get it delivered to you, both the tacos become soft shell. Really yum. All right, the next taco I'm gonna eat is a crunchy taco, plain and simple. It's got pinto beans in it. It's unfair to like diss on a crunchy taco after you've ordered it from a restaurant that's far away because look at this, it's become soggy already. So I'm gonna be gentle on my criticism of this. But you, you soft shell tacos are getting it, huh? Just do some decent crunch to it. Here in India, pinto beans are what we call rajma and they're a staple. We love our rajma. So it's a perfect match to put them in a taco. Next up, another crunchy taco. This one is the Mexican paneer. Now paneer, if you're unaware, is cottage cheese. We make it all over here in India. We basically take curdled milk, add some sort of fruit or vegetable acid to it, like lemon juice, and you get cottage cheese, which is paneer. I'm curious to know what makes this Mexican. Paneer is one of the most popular things you'll find in India at any restaurant. This paneer tastes chalky, like most processed paneer that you'd store in a freezer would. If you prefer your paneer chunky, you might enjoy this, me not so much. Now on to the soft shell tacos. Uh, this one is Mexican paneer, the same thing I just had. This Mexican paneer is a little bit more spicy. My favorite thing about tacos is that not every bite is uniform, so you get a lot of different textures and flavors in each bite you take. And I guess that's proving its point over here. Okay, so the next one we're gonna try is a soft taco with fajita veggies inside. I'm opting out of the fajita veggies as a filling in general. And finally, we have our last veggie option, which is a veggie fiesta, which has tater tots. Win, that's a win. 
If I was going to Taco Bell, I had to order a veggie taco for some reason. My option would be a crunchy pinto bean taco. And now for our non-vegetarian tacos, please note that all of the meat in our tacos is chicken and not beef. This is because we have a huge percentage of Hindus here in India and they do not eat beef. This makes all of our non-veg tacos exclusives. Because yes, in the US, you can substitute your beef for chicken, but it's not on the official menu, all right? It's a modification, which means these are more exclusives to India. Okay, so you have two options of filling, either Mexican chicken or grilled chicken. We're starting off with a grilled chicken crunchy taco, which has severely disintegrated. Not bad, this is also kind of the test of Taco Bell's uh, structural integrity. Pretty good. That's a win for me. What else do you want, Taco Bell? This taco, though, has seen better times. It kind of reminds me of like a Rajma Chawal. Like when you're chewing on a Rajma Chawal, that's how soft the chicken is. There are a lot of comparisons you can make with uh, Mexican and Indian food. We have something exactly like this in India. It's called a chapati and it's made out of wheat. The tortillas in Mexico are typically made with corn. The one in Taco Bell is made out of maida, which is all-purpose flour. I can't speak for Mexican cuisine, but there's definitely a lot of Indian flavors in this. This is actually a soft grilled chicken taco and I can wholeheartedly say worst of the bunch. Don't get this one. A cheese double decker taco with grilled chicken again. Come on, man. I wanted the Mexican one, but the hard shell taco is disintegrating into a soft shell taco. There's nothing special. Chicken fiesta taco. Oh my God. I didn't expect that at all. I've just been chewing for so long, I'm so tired. Oh damn, the aftertaste of this is really good. There's a lot of nice spice to it. Now we have a very special taco. As you can see, this one is still wrapped because I've never seen this in my life. It's called a naked chicken taco. Pause for a moment. What do you think that means? Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, the naked chicken taco. <laughs> Genuinely feels like I just undressed food. So there's no chicken filling inside it because the chicken is the taco. That's right, that's how far we've come as the human race. We have taken this bird and turned it into a freaking pancake and folded it over cheese. Your scientists were too busy trying to figure out whether they could do it. They didn't stop to think whether they should do it. I think that might be one of the worst things I've had on this show. Oh God, oh God. I'm gonna be honest, it actually looks pretty good to me. That reminds me of the KFC Double Down, which I did actually enjoy. I'd try it. Starting off, soft taco and soft taco supreme, which is beef, flimsiest thing in the world. This stuff is, oh, this stuff is sweating already. So I don't know how many vegetarians are watching now, but look at what you're missing. I think I just created a few vegetarians. I mean, I like how they taste, but I mean, Taco Bell's got so much fun stuff on the menu. What are you doing eating regular tacos? Like, get out of here. Crunchy taco, which we saw earlier. Fantastic. Even a little more stuff in it. The, the beef supreme taco. It really loaded up with the veggies. India, India, India. Look at me. This is my favorite thing in the Taco Bell menu. I sing its praises at every Taco Bell food wars. It is the nacho cheese, Doritos, Locos, tacos. Some genius somewhere connected Taco Bell and Doritos to make a hard shell taco that is in fact a Doritos shell. Mmm, comes in standard and of course, supreme. This is, I've been looking forward to this all day. It's burrito time, baby! I've got a Mexican paneer version here, as well as a pinto beans version. I think I'll go with the pinto beans one. By the way, this tray is all of the vegetarian burritos, and this is the non-vegetarian tray. Happy baby! India has a lot of roll culture. We have kati rolls, we have uh, Kolkata rolls, we also have shawarmas, which we are a huge fan of. Most Indians, this basically will feel like you took rajma rice and you shoved it inside a maida roti. I think I'd go with the taco over this. Next up we have tikka masala. But I found this out recently, it was actually invented by the British. So clearly inspired by India, but invented by them. Another thing that the British took from us that we haven't been paid back for. We have a flavor here which is called achari and it's basically like a pickle. This is more achari than chicken tikka masala yi. Also, I, I would be lying if I didn't admit that Taco Bell, it's, or, it's already doing its thing to my digestive system. Taco Bell is notorious for making you go to the bathroom. Zoom in to my stomach right now and just listen to the, the noises. And let, let's get a translation. Oh my God! 
And now for Sriracha Wedge Burrito is now running the risk of offending three different cultures. I don't normally eat a burrito by ripping it in half. Actually, that sounds awesome. We should do that more often, like a double-handed. Don't clip that. Hmm, you can skip it. We have the seven-layer burrito. This one tastes like all of these put together. And we have one last wedge wrap. Ah, guys, I can't do this. It's the same thing. It's just tater tots, that same filling. I bow down and defeat Taco Bell. You have vanquished me. Moving on to the non-vegetarian burritos and we're hoping some of these are a little more distinct from the others. All right, we have a classic Mexican chicken burrito. This is so bad. This is damn bad. Let's just say I'm glad you didn't call yourself burrito bowl. Next up, tikka masala, but now in non-veg. This is actually quite good. This one doesn't taste as dry as the other ones I've had. And of course, we have the seven layer non-vegetarian burrito. Instead of paneer, we have grilled chicken. Let's just do the slap test again. Oof. Yeah, you could really hurt somebody with this seven layer one. Okay, we have one last burrito, which is... Why? What is this? This is not... Why have you done this? This burrito looks like the, the love child of all other burritos over here. These burritos are definitely related and this is the product of incest. Wow, it's actually not that bad. Honestly, out of all of these, I'd prefer to finish this one because it's just smaller. <laughs> the pain will end faster. Burritos might not be visually the most exciting part of the video, but please don't leave. Maybe just open some clips of Family Guy next to it so you can watch that and this like you're on TikTok. The double steak grilled cheese burrito and the spicy double steak grilled cheese burrito. And right, it's grilled cheese because they like grill it shut with cheese. Genius idea. Yeah, look at that, it has jalapenos on it. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a really great idea. Oh, yeah, this rules. A beefy quesarito. When these things cool off though, it's just a lot of cheese in there. Oh, and it has uh, rice in it. Well, burritos have rice. I don't know why I'm so surprised by that. Rice on a burrito, same thing, but with black beans. I mean, it's already kind of, they're kind of like dripping out there already. It's grilled number one, beans and cheese in there. You see that? And the red is uh, those like chips, they put those crispy chips in there. Five layer burrito, it used to be seven layer. Took out two layers and added a beefy one for some weird reason. I assure you there's five layers and beef inside this. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not some weird fetish that on the internet that I'm not aware of slapping faces with burritos. Burrito Supreme. Look, it's so much different from the last thing we were just looking at. But like, that one's just like. CK Chipotle chicken. Yeah, Chipotle mail's legit. And an extra one, if anyone wants it, go ahead and comment below and I'll mail it to you. Beefy melt? Beef and melted cheese. I can't believe it. Together at last. I mean, it tastes like all the other ones. I feel like we could pare this menu down a little bit. Last and not least, cheesy bean and rice. Now for India's specialities. I am excited for the diversity. That's all I'll say. Very representative of our country. Let's start off with the chalupa. The humble chalupa is nice. If you guys are at home wondering what the difference between a normal taco and a chalupa is, you should Google it. What is this, I mean, education show? I'm just here to eat, man. For my Indian brethren, it's kind of the difference between a chapati and like a batura. They actually fry it a little bit. Mmm, but that was a very horrible place to bite because I only got chicken. I have a soft spot for the chalupa and it gets my approval. We have the wedge star wrap. Voila, so inventive. Let's take a burrito but make it flat. Oh, wow. Don't make me eat this inside of it, please. Oh, I'm coming from a country where we're used to eating something like this, a, a chapati with a sabzi on the side, which is like a curry, which has vegetables and fresh paneer and maybe some chicken. So to eat something like this just feels, not even subpar, it just feels wrong. I'm actually curious to know if uh, any Mexicans watching this video can let me know in the comments whether you feel like Taco Bell has done justice to representing your cuisine in any way. Next up, we have a chick star. Round of applause. I'm just gonna keep this UFO of man's worst accomplishment over here. Quesadilla fajita veg. Very thin. I'm curious to know how they have fit a lot of fajita ve veggies into it. They haven't. How do people do this? My God. I just realized, Joe is insane. How have you eaten so much Taco Bell, Joe? Yeah, I'm insane. I lost my mind somewhere during the Japan season. Oh well. And it's strange because I'm still an intern. We're doing rice bowls now. Ooh! Yeah, it looks really good. Um, if it was abstract art in a museum about 20 meters away from your eyeballs. But when you come close and then you're faced with the proposition of eating it. 
I can feel my body rejecting this. Otherwise, it's fine. I mean, it's it's just very average. This is a normal rice bowl. We have the same thing, another rice bowl, but this time it's got some grilled chicken in there. That was really good. This feels like the safest bet. Uh, I don't know when anything is still, so let's go through it together. The first thing, this is uh, either a black bean chalupa or a dirty diaper. I can't tell because it's thick and wrinkly and just dripping with black goo. Don't want that. Oh, it's this, uh, yeah. I mean, every time these Doritos shell show up, I'm just happy. Dorito, cheesy, gordita, crunch, nacho cheese. They put every word in that. Oh, it's that thing, but not nachoed. So I mean, once you have the Dorito shell version, like to go back is like, no way, no way. I've touched the sky. I can stay on the ground no longer. And then we have two Crunchwrap Supreme options, black bean Crunchwrap Supreme, and then the regular Crunchwrap Supreme is of course filled with beef. Okay, it's time now for India's sides menu, starting off with Mexican corn salad. You don't need to add so much sauce to it. I feel like this could have been a lot simpler and people would have appreciated it more. Next up, we have loaded fries and loaded uh, nachos. So typically Taco Bell does not serve loaded uh, nachos and loaded fries here in India, but we found a restaurant that was kind enough to send it to us anyways. I will say this is probably my favorite thing about Taco Bell in India. The loaded nachos are banging when you get them at the restaurant. Oh yeah. But yeah, there's a reason they don't deliver it. It tastes like wet cardboard. And now we have two barf bags, just kidding. Chicken nachos. They had chicken tacos and now there are chicken nachos. And our second doggy bag has... Whoa! That was alarming because what I saw was this. I did not expect this to come out of that bag. Crispy chicken strips. Sides, baby! We got them. Cheesy Fiesta potatoes. There's better things to be had on the menu, but I do like those. Black beans, black beans and rice, and you can get a guacamole side. Now here are some items that are available both in India and the US, but are still very different. For example, this is India's quesadilla, grilled cheese quesadilla. But as you can see, it's filled with a lot of fajita veggies. Um, it's got like this special creamy sauce and it's topped with a lot of jalapenos. Whereas in the US, it comes with just cheese. How boring is that? Correct. And this is what it looks like. Incredibly boring. Another big difference is here in India, our nachos are all seasoned. So they already have like a masala or some sort of spice to them. Our nacho chips in the US are just regular tortilla chips with nacho cheese. Here in India, in our wedge options, we use pinto beans or rajma. Whereas in the US, our bean of choice is the black bean. Exclusive US sauces, hey, you know what that means. Sauce talk. It's now time for India's exclusive sauces. We have quite the wide range. We have Cool Ranch, because there's a lot of spice in a lot of these burritos and tacos. I imagine if you're somebody who can't tolerate spice, definitely get a side of this. Then there is Spicy Salsa. I tasted it, it's really nice. It's got a lot more spice to it, but also the flavor of Imli, which is tamarind. We use it in a lot of our uh, dishes, especially South Indian dishes. Then there's a chocolate sauce, which I imagine is for churros or some sort of dippable dessert. But if you want to dip your quesadilla into this, I'm not going to judge. Next up, we have lava sauce, which doesn't really look as much like lava, but it definitely has a kick to it. Chicken tikka masala sauce, which looks more like lava. Down in the end here, we got reduced fat sour cream. Who doesn't like chips and sour cream, right? Could use some fat. Then moving on, we have a chipotle sauce. Chipotle sauce is very good. Mm, 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 mm. Avocado ranch. Mmm, I love it. More of that, please. And they have a spicy ranch. How spicy could it be? Not very. And finally, the red sauce. Okay, it is finally dessert time. I have eaten a lot of savory food and I'm excited for the desserts. Good old churros. I am a big fan of churros. They send you one chocolatey dip. I feel like you can't really go wrong with churros if you want to call yourself a restaurant. And next is something I have never seen before. Cinnamon twisties. 
I could see myself, you know, 3 a.m. in the night, sad, vulnerable, eating a whole packet of these. So that means it's a good dessert. Taco Bell used to sell quesadillas filled with chocolate and they were called chocodillas. But I guess they've stopped that now. Taco Bell is against puns. The only U.S. exclusive dessert we have are these, the Cinnabon Delights. They're Cinnabons, and I'm pretty sure this is filled with some sort of like cream cheese, right? I share this cream cheese in this or whatever they're frosting. Someone's gotta eat it. That definitely can't go to waste. Eat it now. Right? They're fantastic. All right, it's time for India's exclusive drinks. What could we do without them? Nothing. I would have choked to death on all that burrito maida wrap. First up, uh, the soft drinks that we have. We sell 7-Up and Mirinda over here. But actually in Bangalore, I've seen a lot more variety of drinks. So I think it varies from store to store. Next up, Taco Bell sells juices. This one was a mixed fruit juice, but I drank it all. And I can tell you, it was pretty good. They also sell a cranberry and apple juice, but the stores that we asked in Mumbai did not have those available. And finally, they sell milkshakes. This is mango. This is chocolate, cookie crumble. The true test of a milkshake is to test the fruit one and see if it's still fresh. Hey, that's pretty good. Mango milkshake. U.S. exclusive drinks. There's literally a million, yes, really, of soft drinks you can get at Taco Bell you can't get in India. So I just went and got a Diet Pepsi. And of course, Baja Blast. After like doing this, what, three, four times at this point, I'm actually starting to like Baja Blast. You can actually get a whole bunch of soft drinks at the U.S. Taco Bell. All of these. I wasn't getting 20 drinks. You know, so get yourself a bottle. OJ, Tropicana. Also something you can get are things called freezes, which at one point were frozen slushy or slurpy like drinks. You can get, of course, a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And also get yourself wild cherry freeze. Oh, fuck. That's cough syrup. Also, you can get coffee, both iced and hot. Iced coffee. Oh, no, wait, that's soda. What is this? Ignore that. Right over there. The Cinnabon Delight coffee. Oh, because Exxon gave us two of these. Iced coffee that's flavored like the Cinnabon Delights. Are you kidding me? I can just feel my life expectancy just getting closer and closer. Just like, sip. Mm. He ain't seen his 80s. Mm. But it's worth that. It's delicious. You can also get those coffees hot. Taco Bell breakfast, baby! I think this is just about everything. Once again, I can't tell what anything is. It's all just a sea of beige. Let's find out together. This one just says bacon. Thank you for that. Burrito with bacon. I'm like the Riddler over here. Just like, yay, figure it out. Question mark, question mark. I mean, it's a bit unnatural how yellow that is. It's really bright. It's a bit concerning. This one's gonna be the one with steak, I assume. Yeah. Who's hungry? The steak's a little weird. Maybe don't get the steak one specifically. Oh, did you see this, this the condensation? How bad this food is sweating? Breakfast crunch wrap supreme. Oh, there's sausage inside of this. Look, it comes inside. It's like the magic ticket. Now I get to work at Taco Bell or something. Their sausage is good though. Get yourself a hash brown. They also have breakfast salsa, but the Taco Bell I went to did not have any. Let's talk about nutrition, everybody's favorite topic. That's why you come to Food Wars, because you love fast food, but mainly you love nutrition. In India, a typical soft shell Mexican chicken taco will be 185 calories. In the US, our standard chicken soft taco is 160 calories. So we have fewer calories, fat, carbs, and sodium, but more protein. Next up is the chicken quesadilla. Ours has 268.5 calories. And ours is 510 calories. Now, please note the sodium level on our quesadilla. It's over half the daily recommended amount. That's a salty quesadilla. In India, a veg star wrap is 239.9 calories. Closest we have to that is our black bean crunch wrap supreme. Again, double the calorie count. Get a load of that sodium. Are you looking for the most calorific item here in India? Well, look no further than the cinnamon twist. Each of these packets will cost you 480.9 calories. Here in the US, if you're having a hard time finding calories at the Taco Bell, check out this, the double beef grilled cheese burrito. So Taco Bell in India does not disclose any of their ingredients, but I thought it would be interesting to talk about two of the ingredients that we have here that are unique to India. Number one is paneer. So the problem with the Mexican paneer that was served to me in this batch of Taco Bell 
is that it tasted like the processed paneer you get at stores it tasted like something that had been stored in a fridge also because paneer is so popular here in india every single fast food restaurant has paneer options you know when you know how well it can be done i didn't like the paneer that much in the burritos and tacos i had today the next ingredient i want to talk about is tikka masala i thought it was okay it had a lot of flavor it was quite spicy but the thing that makes tikka masala so exciting is that it's always made from fresh tomatoes and so you can sort of tell there's a difference when it's in the sauce form however i will say it's always a valiant effort to see these fast food companies and people who come here from abroad in general adapt to the indian palate and try to make cuisine that matches ours in the us we do disclose our ingredients and here's a few you should be wary of first is brominated vegetable oil aka bvo BVO is an emulsifier found in citrus flavored sodas that specifically use citrus oils and is considered a health risk when ingested in large amounts. In one case, a man who drank two to four liters of BVO soda per day developed bromism and experienced symptoms such as memory loss and extreme muscle fatigue. It can be found in the ingredients of three of the cantina menu freezes, the beach berry freeze, the ginger meal freeze, and the party punch freeze. The last one, the party punch freeze, also contains yellow number five, AKA tartrazine, which is subject to restriction outside the US in places like the EU and India, as it quote, may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. And you can find it in several Taco Bell menu items, specifically the Doritos Locos Taco Nacho Cheese Shells. Oh no, I had like three of those today. And Baja Blast, ugh, I just want to start to like it. I just want to shout out uh, Joe Avella and say, I understand what trauma you must be going through after doing so many Taco Bell episodes. You're a brave, brave man, Joe.